I'm going to include this before I start. This is a spoiler warning. If you clicked on this video but realized you made a mistake and you don't want to know how to do the Shattered Throne, click off now. So you've made it inside the Shattered Throne, you've progressed your way to the very first true boss, Vorgath, the Boundless Hunger, a power level 590 ogre with an immune shield. You don't know how to damage him, so you looked up the guide, you found this video, and now you want an explanation. So that's what we're gonna do. In this room, you'll notice four plates, the Taken Ogre Vorgath and Taken Wizards called Keepers of the Petition. These Taken Wizards and the plates are your keys to damaging the boss. Your job in this encounter is to take down the Keeper Petitions, and once killed, they will drop a relic. Once you step on the relic, you will get a debuff called Petitioner's Mark. This debuff will last 45 seconds and begin counting down. If the timer reaches zero, you will die. In order to refresh this debuff, you'll need to kill another Keeper of Petitions. This will give you Petitioner's Mark times two, and it will refresh to 45 seconds and begin counting down again. You'll once again need to kill a third Keeper of the Petitions, and you'll get a three stack of the debuff. Repeat this one more time on a fourth wizard, and you can now dunk the debuff into one of the four plates. This will break Vorgath's shield and allow for a damage phase. It is possible to kill him in one phase, and it actually is a triumph if you kill him in one phase, but if you don't, you simply need to repeat the same thing you just did. Four Keepers, four debuffs, dunk, damage phase. Once you kill a boss, the encounter is complete, and you will receive a piece of powerful gear. I'll have another guide for the final boss out soon, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, and if you happen to be new here, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to let the rest of the encounter play out so you can see the entire thing start to finish, but for now, that's all i got for you guys. So I'm going to get out of here, say my name is Matt, and I'll see you guys next time. Is it just this room, or do you have to do something to get to There's this room? There's a lot to this room. We almost won't fit. Yep. There's a there's a lot to get into. This wizard room. on me, wizard on me. I think there's wizard on everyone. I'm gonna come. Oh yeah, true. Your wizard. You... Okay. Okay, I got that one. Yeah, let's get the next one. Wait. We could yeah, we could technically go for an, a wizard each, but like. No, no, stick together, stick together. He's only five seventy one. Oh, the res timer is higher. I see now. Yeah, it's like a f whole minute. <laughs> yeah, it's like 45 seconds. Cross, we need to kill that guy and then I'll res him. Oh. Wait, the ogre shooting you. Ouch. Yeah, I, I'm f dead. Well, it, would just, it would just reset our stacks, I think. Yep. Yeah. We need, um... If if we ha all had Whisper on, we would have one faced him for sure. Only thing is, like the Axiom darts do a lot of damage, and I was just kind of shooting them for you guys. I know that was perfect. I was able to do a shitload of damage. I got it. Yeah, but I think it despawns. I don't want to risk it despawning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, let me melee her. There we go. She was in. Okay, she's dead. Two more. Can I miss my name? She was done. I can't shoot her, she's hiding. I'm dead. Nice. I just need to stay alive. We need to kill that next one. Thirty seconds. We need to kill this next wizard. It's right here on us. I'm just, I'm just gonna super her. Do it. Give that orb for me. Okay, I'm going to dunk. Okay, dunked. Shields down. I'm dead. You're damaged, you're damaged. Nice, we got it.